Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing the very best fragrances available at Sephora. I shared something similar a few years ago, but we really needed an update because there have been far too many incredible new fragrance launches since then. So I did my best to concentrate on my favorites from 2023, but of course, you know, I had to sprinkle in a few classics as well. And I've partnered with Sephora for today's video. We timed this thing perfectly because it's the fragrance for all event. It's for all beauty insiders. It starts on the 13th and runs through December 24th. When you enter code FRAGRANCE20 at checkout, it gives you 20% off all full-size fragrances. Now, the most important thing to remember, it is a one-time use coupon. So take your time, no pressure. Think about any restocks, maybe last minute gifts. I always think fragrance makes an incredible holiday gift. And if you order any time between the 15th and the 24th, they will also throw in same day delivery, both promotions at once. And to me, that is the only way to shop. I love same day delivery, it's so convenient. Of course, any important dates or details, all of the information you need will be listed down below in the description box. I will also include the links to the products we're gonna talk about today. That way you can conveniently add them to your shop cart so you don't miss out. I'm starting with the launch so new it's still in the box, but I've received so many questions about this one, so I figured we might as well smell it for the first time together. This is the new launch from Kayali. It's called Eden Sparkling Lishi 39. It's kind of the sister fragrance to Eden Juicy Apple. It has some of my favorite keynotes, including black currant, sparkling lishi, rose damask, candied violet, sugared amber, and sandalwood. Judging solely on the translucent peach bottle, I feel like this might be more of a spring summer fragrance. I'm not sure, let's give it a try. Kayali has just been killing it with the new launches lately. Ooh, sparkling, it is very bubbly. It's very sweet, it's fruity, it's a little fresh. Almost a hint of candy or bubble gum right away. It smells vibrant, energizing, very luscious, kind of mouth-watering, fruity, floral, very colorful. This to me screams summertime. I see sundresses and sandals. It's a great daytime perfume. And it's definitely more of a youthful fragrance than a lot of the more recent Kayali launches. So if you maybe have a daughter, nieces who love fragrance, this could be perfect for them. Another newer launch from Kayali that I absolutely love is the Oudgasm Vanilla Oud 36. And I actually really like the Cafe Oud and the Tobacco Oud as well. My husband's actually been wearing the Tobacco Oud. It's really nice. But the Vanilla Oud is surprisingly wearable. I think Oud can be very intimidating, but this collection is so well-rounded. They're very balanced and smooth, which makes them a great introduction into niche fragrances. The Vanilla Oud has keynotes of vanilla sugar sugar, praline, saffron, white musk, oak moss, and oud. And the entire oudgasm collection is unisex. I'm not always the best at keeping up with the new masculine fragrances and clones, but I promise I will take my husband with me to Sephora very soon and I will gather his favorites. And I'll make sure to link some of the best men's fragrances down below as well. The Vanilla Oud is just incredible. There's something really smooth, kind of cooling and minty about it. I love a creamy vanilla fragrance. I love that it works for daytime or evening because it's not so heavy. It's not overly woody or oody. And it smells so sophisticated. This to me smells very chic. I can just picture like a really chic fall winter outfit and then this fragrance. And it's truly an easy grab and go, very beautiful, very surprising. And I have to very quickly mention one last Kayali because if you do really love vanilla but you want something more intense, a real knockout, standout, holiday party type of fragrance, I recommend checking out Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli 64. I think this is one of the most underrated fragrances. I remember it was kind of a big deal when it first launched, but then I feel like it's just sort of simmered away and I don't really hear people talking about it that much anymore, but it is one of those wow factor fragrances. It smells edible, delicious. It's such an intense vanilla that I almost smell chocolate. It's just dessert in a bottle. And the performance is really notable as well. This lasts for hours on my skin. It kind of just clings to everything. I can smell it on my clothes. I can smell it in my hair. 
It's so beautiful. A very unique fragrance I would put in that same category is the Fenty Eau de Parfum. This is such an interesting fragrance. It's a bit gourmand, a bit floral, smells very exotic, but definitely a head turner and long lasting. It almost smells to me like chocolate covered roses, which I know is very strange to think about, but that is just what comes to mind whenever I smell it. This to me is definitely more evening, beast mode, getting dressed up, going for a night out on the town. Could be a holiday party, could be a date night. I have two fragrances here from Juliet Has a Gun. These were both launched in 2023 and I love them both. Probably my two favorite fragrances from Juliet Has a Gun. You can probably tell just by looking at the bottles that the mood is very different. Lust for Sun is sort of the quintessential summer fragrance. I would say this is more spring summer. And then Ode to Dullness is more of a fall winter fragrance. It is very warm and cozy. I appreciate the inspiration behind Ode to Dullness, which is finding beauty in simplicity because they absolutely captured that essence in this fragrance. It smells like the perfect everyday hug. It's comforting, it's welcoming. Smells like getting cozy on the couch or wearing your favorite sweater. There's a bit of clean laundry in there. It just smells very peaceful. Nothing dull about this fragrance. Lust for Sun, on the other hand, is bursting with energy. It smells vibrant, like a ray of sunshine. This, to me, is a very realistic, day at the beach, warm, tanned skin type of fragrance. I love that it's floral with coconut, but it doesn't smell like your typical summery coconut fragrance. It's very fresh. It's like a fresh coconut by the beach. Reminds me of vacation or just the perfect day in Miami. We're jumping across different seasons and categories, but this is another fragrance similar to Lust for Sun that is just a mood booster. It makes me so happy to smell this fragrance. This is from Ellis Brooklyn. It's Apple Love. Hands down, my favorite fragrance from Ellis Brooklyn. There are a few different edible notes besides apple and the dry down is a bit unexpected. Right away, you just get this burst of freshness. Crisp apples, it's fresh and floral. And then the dry down is a little creamy and vanilla. It ends up smelling a bit like dessert. It's so pretty and fun and flirty and just a great daytime fragrance, a bit more casual. You could just throw this on, get out the door. It makes me happy. I cannot help but smile whenever I smell this fragrance. I think of cozy sweaters, changing up the leaves, football season, crisp apples, of course. And apple is such an interesting note to focus on because I don't think it has been explored nearly enough. There are so many different varieties of apples and different apple notes that you could use in fragrance. I predict we are going to see a lot more apple-centric fragrances in the future. Now, if you love a good princessy perfume like me, I highly recommend checking out the line from Love Shack Fancy. They launched three new fragrances in Sephora this year. All three are outstanding. It was actually really hard to choose a favorite and I got travel sizes of the others, but my full size fragrance, I went with Bohem in the blue bottle because this one smells a little bit more whimsical. It reminds me of a fairy princess. It has black currant, peony, and white amber, and I am such a sucker for peony. I love how light it is. It smells light and happy. The perfect daytime fragrance for any occasion. You could just grab this fragrance, spritz it on anytime. I will say it leans a little bit more spring. If you're someone who likes to change your fragrance for the season, not really a cold weather, warm, cozy type of fragrance. But if you love florals, and I don't think you can go wrong with florals year round, this is really special. All three fragrances from Love Shack Fancy are worth trying. Sparkling Sugar from Clean Reserve, another 2023 launch. Flew under the radar for far too long. This is definitely one of the best fragrance launches of 2023, and it will take you by surprise. It will kind of sneak up on you. It's categorized as a fresh gourmand. And I think the name Sparkling Sugar might turn some people off because they think, okay, it's just going to be a sugar bomb of a fragrance, but it's much more complex than that. It has incredible lasting power and projection. A few months ago, I filmed a roundup video of all of the 2023 launches so far, and I was spraying all of my new fragrances, and this was the one that I just kept going back to because the scent just overpowered everything else and it smelled incredible. 
It's a little bit sweet, but there are some other notes in there like berries and it's very addicting. So you kind of want to keep smelling it and keep smelling it and keep smelling it. And it just sort of draws you in closer. Another really pretty daytime fragrance, but I think you could wear this year round. This does not have a certain season. It just smells incredible. If you like sweet berries, I think you will love this fragrance. I could just see a CEO leaving the office, going to the PTA meeting. I just picture a woman who is really put together and just has her life together. This is what she smells like. Devotion by Dolce & Gabbana is another really vibrant, fruity gourmand, except this one has a burst of citrus right away. It's very energizing and playful. This is one of my favorite new fragrances. It reminds me of summer on the Amalfi Coast, a very luxurious vacation where you're only wearing your best dresses and accessories. It smells very luxe and fancy. It's very sweet, very feminine. I love the creamy vanilla dry down, gives it that gourmand touch. And I think it balances the citrus really nicely. So it just sort of comes together to smell like a fancy Italian dessert. And I am a sucker for a beautiful fragrance bottle. I love the design of this. For the longest time, Dolce & Gabbana The One was my go-to fragrance. One of my favorite classic designer fragrances. I still really like Dolce & Gabbana The One, but I think Devotion is maybe a little bit more modern and I know I'm going to be grabbing this more often. If there was ever a perfect time to pick up a Tom Ford fragrance, it's now when you can save 20% off full-size fragrances. These are two of my favorites. Tom Ford Lost Cherry has been a long time favorite. This is a top 10 for life, a fragrance I can't live without. And I've actually restocked this fragrance. Of course, I waited for 20% off from Sephora. It's just a beautiful gourmand fragrance. If you love cherry, almond, vanilla, you will absolutely love Lost Cherry. It's the ultimate date night fragrance. And when I'm going out, which is very rare, but when we do go out for a date night or a special occasion, if I'm not really sure what I'm going to wear, if I haven't planned it in advance, I almost always grab Lost Cherry. It is just a no-brainer. You know you smell good. It's tried and true. It's a bit moody and seductive without being in your face. It kind of draws people a little bit closer. And as it dries down, it's really just the most complex vanilla fragrance. Cherry also happens to be one of my favorite fragrance notes because it's still pretty unique, even though it's gaining popularity. This is just a masterpiece. It's an award winner. There's a reason so many brands are now trying to dupe Lost Cherry and recreate it, and nothing comes close in my opinion. You just cannot beat the original. I also really like Mermistere. This is a newer launch that kind of caught me by surprise because it's definitely unisex, leans a little bit more masculine. It's a very woody, vanilla fragrance with a little spice thrown in there. To me, this smells like Tom Ford. It has that Tom Ford DNA, which is really robust and spicy. Reminds me of a cigar bar or speakeasy, but the way I've been wearing this fragrance is I've been layering it with another one of my favorite fragrances, Burberry Goddess. This is a delicious vanilla, and these two together are amazing. I know I've talked about this combination a lot. It is a pricey duo, so of course you would wanna take advantage and get 20% off. Perfect for a holiday party or a special occasion get together because they smell very sophisticated and incredibly long lasting. Another combination that I really love is the Burberry Goddess and then Cherry Ambition from The Seven Virtues. Talking about cherry again, this is such a pretty smoky, spicy cherry. Initially, it smells a bit like a cherry cordial, almost a candied, sugared cherry. I get maybe incense, spiciness. Smells like the holidays to me. It's such a pretty fragrance. Great for colder weather. It's fall, winter in a bottle. The creative possibilities are endless when you start to really get into fragrance layering, which I think is part of the fun and part of my fascination with fragrance. You don't have to be afraid to experiment and try something new, and you never know. You might surprise yourself. Very quickly, I want to share a few of my favorite flankers, both the Parfum version. YSL Lieb Le Parfum is gorgeous. It's my favorite interpretation of Lieb. It reminds me a little bit of root beer. Intense jasmine, so beautiful for fall-winter and Black Opium from YSL Le Parfum. 
If you love the original Black Opium, I think you will love Le Parfum. If you weren't a huge fan or maybe you got a little bit sick of the original Black Opium, I still recommend trying this. It's insane. We just flew through a lot of fragrances and my nose has officially hit the wall. So that completes today's video, but thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, you liked hearing my picks, and you feel inspired to shop the fragrance for all event. It really is the best time to pick up fragrances. Again, it goes through December 24th. All of the information, the code, everything you need to know will be down below in the description box. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.